in terms of looks, they look decent. You can't really see, but there's kind of yellowed here. And they haven't yellowed too much. They haven't yellowed like to the extent that the Space Gems yellowed, as you saw. But um, I can't rock these. Uh, let me show you why. Is it on this side? Yeah. Uh, as well as, I think these gave me blisters at one time. Uh, the cool greys also give me blisters. But what I liked about it is, even back then, they knew to write in Nike Air. That's still, it's still Nike Air. To, and when I do this, it means, hey, you had a good life. Um, we're not gonna wear you anymore, but just want you to know that you served me well in all the years. Like, yeah. Quality basketball products inspired by the greatest player ever. And then another peek at the reversed uh, Jumpman logo with the Butt Jordan. 23, pristine. 23, pristine. I don't know how people honestly um, get their 23 messed up. I really don't. But, um, you see videos on on the internet. That's the sound of the carbon fiber. Yeah, I think one side's really, really, really bad. Where is it? It's this side, isn't it? So, story time. Um, many stories with these. Uh, the most recent one, I was in South Korea for the first time, meeting up with someone that I admired, and it was raining, and I wore these, and I wore these with white jeans, and um, my getup was ridiculous. Okay, white jeans and these. And... Um, Half the time I, I didn't think she would show, but then then she showed, and I was like, "Whoa, you showed!" <laughs> um, yeah, great memory. Oh yeah, production number and stuff. Okay. Oh 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 seven oh nine. Eighteen years old, over eighteen years old for this sneaker. One three six zero four six one zero one. And on the side of the box it says white, black, dark, concord, black, noir, concord. Yeah. So on the upcoming retros, this is going to be higher. This is going to be higher. So I don't know if anyone's going to do a comparison video. I'm sure there are. But, um,. Just you know, look, it's it's still it's still decent, you know. Just I would never wear these <laughs> anymore. We can we can try a rejuvenate project, but like you know, as well as we need some kind of glue to go in here to glue this back up, or just buy the new pair. Two hundred twenty dollars. I don't know, man. But just looking on the camera now, they they look they look all right. You know, wear and tear, you know, weather's got to them over the years. Think about it, 18 years, 18 years for these. I'm just, I'm just shocked, man. Um, and then another memory. Uh, I believe it was Valentine's Day. I wore these with a suit. Or it might have been the Cool Grays. I can't remember which one, but it was either these or the Cool Grays. And I looked like an idiot. And I asked the girl at the time, like, do you think it matched? And then she was like, yeah. And then I was like, look, be honest. And it's like, then she laughed and giggled and said, no, they don't match. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Um, the, the suit I had on was like a, a kind of similar to the cool gray, gray, but it wasn't 
completely grey. Um, it's kind of beige. But yeah, with these, um, I never managed to rock them in school. So it may be a rock and stock and put away for a rainy day. But I don't know, man. 400 bucks on three pairs of trainers. Um, that's gonna be a hard swallow. Um, but I do, I do like the colorway. Just, uh, it's not something I, I would regularly rock. That's how clean you can see that it is, John Man Jordan. I thought that was such a wicked part when I first got these, and um, yeah, so that that store on Oxford Street, the JD Sports going up to the Nike floor. They had these in, in the cabinet, like game worn Michael Jordan ones. And every time I would like look at it at a different angle, I would like peek it at a different angle, different angle, different angle, different angle. And I just thought, I just thought they were the best thing ever. And I had to get my own pair. Like I'm never going to get Michael's pair and then wear his pair. Come on, that's just being silly. But, uh, I mean, you can see there's dirt and stuff inside, but that's to me that's patina. That's that's a well-traveled sneaker. My right foot is slightly bigger than my left foot. Um, I'm just gonna put these on for memory's sake. Yeah, I could still rock these. <laughs> still doable. I think I've got a rock and stock, maybe even a rainy day one of these. I keep on forgetting exactly how many of these I have. Let me rock both feet just for a second. Okay, look at my slipper for now. <laughs> I think I have a rock and stock and a rainy day. If I don't have a rainy day, it's no big deal. I've got Columbia's of these as well. Oh, you just feel special when you wear these, seriously. I know they're not laced up or anything, but just... Just the memory of these just, just come right back. Like it's super, super, super white. And I think I've got blisters and stuff. I can't remember exactly where. I'll have to wear them for longer. But, um, just generally. Um, yeah. When you're a kid, and I got these before I got my first job, so it was, I hate to say it, but it was student loan money, and it was savings, and it was all kinds of stuff. But just, you know, think about. Back then, if I was a, if I had the reseller mindset, I would have bought a ton of these, and people would have, would have looked would have looked at me funny, and like would have been like, "What are you doing?" And then if I sold them DS in this era to like true sneakerheads, wow! Never noticed that before. It's not quite the same height. This one's slightly higher. That's kind of odd, right? Hmm. Maybe it's just my eyes playing tricks on me. Like slightly, we're talking like half a millimeter, <laughs> maybe even a millimeter. All right, so that's all my sneakers in my cupboard. These are going upstairs because they're never gonna get worn again. Onwards and upwards. 100 foot goal. Alright, peace.